people's lives are surrounded by mythology, aren't they? Of what you say, what you think, what you do. Mm. Yes, well, f for a long time, I didn't talk to any press or have interviews of any kind because I decided that it was safer not to do that and because I thought it was very important that that was the way that I could keep some privacy about our lives. But on the contrary, it was worse because what I didn't tell them, they made up and added to. And uh, so various articles appeared in women's magazines about a family and about me who I didn't recognise at all. No. So you thought, well, you better say what you think. And that way they'll, there's a chance they might get it right. Yes. Yes. have been doing it ever since. Does he suffer from depression? Does he have deep bouts of, of gloom? Not really. No. No, he's... Um, he, he had, I, I couldn't describe him as even tempered because people with red hair are seldom even tempered, but he's not, he, he doesn't get depressed or he doesn't um, moon around expecting everyone to sympathize with him at all. He's generally very uh, light hearted and, and, and happy. And what does he do when he's had a particularly bad day? Uh, I was going to say at work, I mean at work. Mm. And when he comes home and everything's gone wrong and he hasn't managed to get what he wanted to across to people. I mean, hmm. does he come home and have well, a good... Providing there's anything of the day left, yes. Because generally it's quite late. With your clothes, I wonder if there is a policy behind the thinking of, of the Labour Party, perhaps their public relations people, in how you look, how you appear to us. Do they tell you what they want? Absolutely not. No, not at all. So you can wear exactly what you like, do what you... and say what you like without them jumping in. Well, I suppose if I went around saying hugely embarrassing things all the time, and I hope I never have, then maybe people would say, but I don't know. that uh, They certainly... The Labour Party's not like that. I mean, I think the Tories go in for a lot of packaging and image-making, but uh, yes. because that has happened with Mrs Thatcher and everyone knows about the voice training and the teeth jobs and the hair jobs and all of that, that they assume that we're going in for the same thing, but... I hope it's, it's not as necessary for us to do that. Yes, I was wondering. That's exactly what I was getting I'm not, at. I'm not going to cultivate a fruity accent. I think that <laughs> wouldn't be appropriate. <laughs> yes, because I mean, people say, oh, well, she's going to become like Britain's Nancy Reagan. They're going to do that job on her. Oh, dear, no, no. 